Often behind transformations, it's more than just an exterior that people want to change. It's almost shedding an old personality, old views. Are you still the same person on the inside? I consider myself a person who's very passionate about what I believe in. I believe in being um, caring about people as well. I think that's very important. I was brought up from a, from a, a family of seven children and watched my father work 106 hours a week for 25 years to provide for his family. I have, have values and I have morals. Have your political views changed? Um, I'm passionate about my country and, and its people. My, my views that, you know, Jessica, Would you people, like to go people back say, to politics, do you think? I'm very frustrated with the system at the moment. Mm. And everyone that I talk to in the streets, they're so frustrated with the political system, both sides of politics. They're wanting honest people, straightforward people. Just do, do you want the corruption from our politicians? Do you I'm want the lies? You're a Queenslander, aren't you? What do you think of Clive Palmer? I think that we need someone like Clive Palmer around, I really do. The two I was just going to add a curiosity. No, yeah. no. We've had the two political parties. And remember, I was a threat. One Nation was a threat to the major political parties. They all conspired, changed the voting system to get rid of myself and One Nation. Even my, my court challenge, that was started by Tony Abbott and his slush fund. They had to get rid of me because I was a threat. We won 11 seats in Parliament in Queensland and they saw what was happening leading up to the Queensland election. You did jail so, time, didn't you? I did. And that was through, like I said, um, I should never have been charged in the first place. Mm -hmm. And those charges were basically because when I registered the political party, they said they weren't members of the political party, but members of the support movement. That's what, why my sentence what was I find What I find interesting is sitting here, sitting, talking to you today and having watched you growing up, um, I'm just interested to know, is there anything you look back on and reflect? You know, we we're here talking about the fact you had some... Perhaps. Well, or regret, perhaps. Well, I don't even think, I don't think you should regret uh, something. No. I just more want to know, is like, when you look back no. on everything that's happened, would you change anything? No, I'd probably... <laughs> It was a very tough time for me. I went into politics with no experience, no knowledge. I had people trying to put me down because I was a woman mm. who wanted to take over and control it. Um, it. The party grew so fast. I wish I had stuck with my to my guns what I really wanted to do and what I needed to do instead of being taken over. Yeah. And I don't regret because what I did was get rid of a lot of political correctness allowed for debate. Yeah. Um, the political parties have picked up a lot of my policies and issues and it created debate to inform the Australian people, to bring awareness, and that was so important. And that's what you need people in Parliament for. And would I like to in Parliament? To write, I would. Just, mm. just because you've got quickly, to have that honesty. Sorry, Pauline, we're just running out.